USSR Lee Burke DDG-51, an Aegis-class missile-guided destroyer, is the backbone of the U.S. Navy, designed to dominate a wide range of sea, air, and land combat scenarios. First launched in 1991, the ship integrates advanced weapon systems coordinated through the Aegis Combat System, a command and control platform that enables simultaneous threat detection, tracking, and destruction. With a length of 154 meters, a displacement of 9,200 tons, and a maximum speed of 30 plus knots, powered by four General Electric LM2500 gas turbines, the ship is capable of anti-air, anti-submarine, anti-surface ship, and ballistic missile defense missions. Its weapons systems, which continue to be modernized through variants such as Flight 2A and Flight 3, include missiles, cannons, torpedoes, and electronic systems, making it one of the most versatile warships in the world. At the heart of Arleigh, Burke's combat power is the Aegis Combat System, which integrates radars, sensors, and weapon systems to create a 360-degree defense bubble. The system utilizes the AN-SPY 1D radar, a multifunctional phased array radar capable of detecting and tracking more than 100 air, surface, and missile targets at ranges up to 190 kilometers. Aegis enables ships to conduct cooperative engagement capability, sharing target data with other ships or assets in the fleet in real time. In the Flight D3 variant, the AN-SPY-6 radar, AMDR, is introduced, increasing detection sensitivity by 30 times to counter hypersonic and ballistic missile threats. Aegis also manages missile launch and weapon coordination, ensuring rapid response to complex threats. The MK-41 Vertical Launch System is Arleigh Burke's offensive and defensive backbone with 96 cells, 29 forward, 67 aft, capable of launching different types of missiles. Each cell can hold missiles such as SM-2, SM-3, SM-6, ASROC, or Tomahawk, providing flexibility for different missions without the need to reload at sea. The system enables rapid launch, one missile per second supports a launch on remote strategy, where the ship can fire missiles based on data from external sensors. The large VLS capacity and multi-mission capability make Arleigh Burke excel in power projection and fleet defense. For air and missile defense, Arleigh Burke relies on the standard missile SM family of missiles. The SM-2 Block 4 is used for medium to long range 70 to 150 kilometers anti-air defense, effective against aircraft and cruise missiles. The SM-3, optimized for ballistic missile defense, can intercept exo-atmospheric missiles with a range of up to 700 kilometers. The SM-6, the latest multi-role missile, has anti-air, anti-surface, and terminal missile defense capabilities with a range of 240 kilometers. These missiles are equipped with semi-active and active guidance, enabling high accuracy even under electronic jamming conditions. The SM series combination ensures the ship can deal with modern air threats, including hypersonic missiles. For long-range land attack missions, Arleigh Burke is equipped with the BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile the missile has a range of up to 2,500 kilometers and can carry a 450 kilogram conventional warhead or submunitions for dispersed targets. The Tomahawk uses GPS ionets and TURCOM terrain contour matching navigation systems for accuracy within meters, making it ideal for destroying enemy infrastructure such as military bases or command centers. The latest variant, Block V, has anti-ship capabilities and improved jamming resistance. The VLS capacity allows the ship to carry dozens of tomahawks, providing strategic destructive power from the sea.
in anti-submarine warfare ASW missions, Arlie Burke uses the RUM-139 vertical launch ASROC anti-submarine rocket. This missile carries MK-46 or MK-54 light torpedoes to a target area up to 22 kilometers away, where the torpedoes then seek out and destroy enemy submarines. The ASROC is equipped with an inertial guidance system for launch accuracy, while the torpedoes use active or passive sonar for detection. The ship also features two MK-32 torpedo tubes, three tubes per side, that can launch MK-54 torpedoes directly for close combat. These systems, combined with ANSQS-53 Sea Sonar and SH-60 Seahawk helicopters, make Arleigh Burke a deadly threat to submarines. For surface combat and ground fire support, Arleigh Burke is equipped with the MK-45 Mod 4 5-inch 62 caliber cannon. It has a range of up to 24 kilometers with standard ammunition, or 37 kilometers with guided ammunition such as HVP. With a firing rate of 16 to 20 rounds per minute, the MK-45 is effective for destroying small surface vessels, providing covering fire for ground troops or attacking coastal targets. The system is fully automatic, with a magazine holding 680 rounds, including fragmentation, high explosive, and precision guided ammunition. Modernizations to Flight 2A improved the reliability and accuracy of this cannon. For close in defense against cruise missiles, drones, or small boats, Arleigh Burke is equipped with MK-15 Phalanx CIWS and on some ships, CIROM. Phalanx is a 20mm Gatling system that fires 4,500 rounds per minute up to 2 kilometers away using radar and electro-optical trackers to automatically destroy threats. CIROM, the replacement for Phalanx on some Flight 2A ships, incorporates the RIM-116 rolling airframe missile launcher with a range of 9 kilometers providing an additional layer of defense. Both systems are designed for rapid response to asymmetric threats, such as drone swarm attacks or armed speedboats. While not all Arleigh Burke ships carry the RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missile, some units are equipped with quad canister launchers for this missile. The Harpoon has a range of 130 kilometers, carries a 225 kilogram warhead and uses active radar guidance to attack enemy surface ships. The missile is effective for traditional naval combat, although the anti-surface role is increasingly being replaced by the more versatile SM-6 and Tomahawk Block 5. The presence of Harpoon, while optional, adds an offensive dimension to surface threats, especially in theaters of operations such as the Indo-Pacific. In addition to the main armament, Arleigh Burke is equipped with support systems such as ANSQQ 89 ASW suite for sonar coordination, ANCEL Q 32 for electronic warfare, jamming, and decoys, and Link 16 for data integration with the NATO fleet. Two S 860 Seahawk helicopters or MQ 8 Fire Scout drones extend the range of ASW detection and attack. The Flight 3 modernization, which becomes operational in 2023, introduces SPY-6 radars, advanced cooling systems, and increased electrical power to support future directed energy weapons. The combination of these systems, along with operational reliability, 70 active ships by 2025, and competitive cost, $2 billion per ship, makes Arleigh Burke the most effective and versatile sea combat platform far surpassing ships like Zumwalt that are limited by cost and complexity.